This is Tim Locke. I'm a pastoral counselor in Napa, California, and I'm executive director of Four Springs, a retreat center near Middletown, California, with a long history of seminars and retreats on religious wisdom and psychology. And today I'm talking a little bit more about uh, the We Psychology of Fritz Kunkel. Um, I want to speak a little bit about one of his tools for self-observation, um, a way of understanding when we're getting away from our creative center or the what he called the we that lives in us. And this tool has to do with uh, egocentric feeling. And egocentric feelings uh, for Kunkel were characterized by the kind of the constant up and down. And they have to do with whether or not our uh, a self-portrait with which we identify is, um, is being confirmed or whether it's being negated. And this often feels to us, since we identify with a, a self-portrait, it feels to us like it's happening to us. And we might be elated when our self-portrait is being confirmed. Uh, Kunkel called this plus 100. Or we might be dejected uh, when ours, one of our self-images seems to be negated. Uh, and he called this uh, the abyss, or minus 100. Or sometimes he would refer to it as being in the doghouse, which is how it feels to us at the time. Uh, and in addition to egocentric feelings, Kunkel talked about we feeling. And that's a feeling that uh, something larger is living through us. Um, he described the we as a living subject, a living thing that's expressed through more than one person. And we feel this sometimes when we're part of a team or a crew, um, part of an intimate relationship where we're um, able to feel a, a larger and creative currents of life uh, living through us and helping us to develop. So this tool for self-observation, for tracking uh, the life of the we as it, as it comes to us, or uh, observing the egocentric feelings as they happen to us um, can be very helpful. It's a very simple tool, but it uh, can help us to discern when um, we're caught in an egocentric type of feeling, whether there's a, a self-image that's either being confirmed uh, or rejected in some way, um, causing us to feel uh, with these plus 100 and minus 100 states, or whether it's um, a more objective feeling. And certainly we feelings can be very deep feelings. We can have deep feelings of sadness or deep feelings of joy born out of our connection with other people or with life itself. Um, but tracking these, uh, these feelings of connection, tracking the feelings of uh, plus 100 and minus 100 uh, helps us to move, uh, to live more often uh, from what Kunkel called the maturing we that is alive within us, along with all the other desires and feelings associated with the self-portraits that we carry. Again, I'm Tim Locke, a pastoral counselor in Napa, California. You can find me at either napacounseling.org or foursprings.org.